Welcome to a mini motorways video where I'm going to share with you my tips for getting a high score or a reasonably high score let's say. You can see over here I got 4,000 on the weekly challenge but that is made slightly easier by some of these modifications here and on the regular levels the best I got was Moscow with under 3,000 however I've learned a lot since I played some of these other levels so we're going to do Los Angeles again and I will share with you some of my tips. Tip number one probably the most important one is to learn about the ability to suppress where other buildings will pop up. So the size of this one is two by three and so if we were to put road tiles in around this building that'll actually stop another one from popping up nearby. You might be wondering well why would we want to do that? The reason is Having lots of these clustered together can make your road network a little bit tricky to manage. And in theory, I could lay down a lot of road in this area over here, but the key thing is just not to have them right next door to one another, because of course you are going to need more buildings to get a score. So let's go ahead and connect this one up. And you'll see here that we have crossed the traffic. This is actually something you want to avoid. You kind of want roads just built for the destination and the houses with the colors that match. However, early on or in low traffic situations, Having different colored cars share the same roads is, is kind of fine. So for this level, I'm going to select bridge because as far as I can tell, traffic lights are not really that helpful. And you'll notice that I've added some extra roads to suppress the building over here. And I guess here's another tip you're going to see play out through my playthrough here. I'm not going to connect this building to our road network because all you need to do is connect enough to meet the demand, right? So if these three houses can provide enough traffic, it's now four to go to these two destinations then we should be okay and that was all starting to get a little bit messy so I decided that it's time for a redesign and we've got a crossroad here in the middle let's hope that that works out and you know what I'm going to take a roundabout and I'm going to plop it right down there in the middle yeah that looks cool oh okay they're popping up something else as well hmm okay just to get things going quickly here we'll connect those up and then down the bottom here will do that which is kind of not ideal because we want the blue ones to go up to this road here and if i had done my suppression a little quicker there we wouldn't have had two of them right next door to one another you really do want to keep on top of this okay if that looks a little overkill well it kind of is but i think it'll be better in the long run my experience is that having some windy roads that go around other sets of houses can often be better than crossing the traffic yeah, so a little connection up the top and then another turning off the side here and all of our red houses are like on one road network going to each of the destinations. The only thing really here is the orange one. And you know what? We're going to make a big change here. If I do that, those two houses will supply this one over here and then we no longer need this connection. Okay, that will do us wonders. I've also added some more suppression roads here and there. I don't think I want anything popping up in that space, but now every color is on its own road network which is really good so this one here upgraded it gave us an extra house and there's actually enough room here if we really needed to to bring that one around the back which is probably not going to happen i don't think we're going to use roundabouts a lot and as you see we are using a lot of road tiles so for now gonna select that one aha look at where that popped up that's probably not going to be too much of a big deal the only problem is we don't have the bottom of this map available yet so we can go across like this oh except we don't have another bridge yet right okay we'll have to temporarily use this connection here oh there's going to be a bit of a sharp turn there but then again we just got our own bridge so yoink we will do that and hey we've got a new destination where are those cars going to go now they've literally got nowhere to go <laughs> They're going to do a U-turn and come back onto this network, I think. We have no... Ah. <laughs> They're going to have to share the road network again for now. Okay, let's do that. Get rid of that bridge. Bring this down. Ugh, straight down would be nice. And this building needs its suppression too. Can't forget about that. Don't want something directly next door to that one. It has just occurred to me that this bridge is not necessary. And we'll put that one back there. We've got some red houses popping up over here. I'm not sure if they're actually going to increase the demand over in these spaces. We're doing just fine at the moment, so we'll let them continue to pop up for now. All right, it's just plopped another one right next door. Okay, demand just increased over there on the left, and a few more houses here. Dang, okay, well, this will be straightforward, right? We have a road like that. Uh, however, we've got two buildings here, one down there. Three of them might struggle to supply that, so... 
Let's go ahead and connect this up like so. And actually disconnect those from one another. So these three can just take care of that one building. And there we go. We've got some suppression around it in place as well. Everything here is looking pretty good and well managed, wouldn't you say? Okay, so we've got another orange and the houses are up the top here. This doesn't look too good, but I think the trick here is to probably reconnect the green network from this side. Okay, I think I found the better solution is to actually go around that side. Yeah, that's that's way better. Oh, and I would definitely take 30 row tiles. We're running very low. Okay, scanning the map, I've noticed that demand for these two buildings over here is really increasing. I don't feel like I can do too much for the blue houses. However, we've got lots of reds over here that need to be connected to this network. So my friends, I think it's time to experiment with adding in a motorway. And I always feel, that's a roundabout, <laughs> I always feel like you need a little bit of a, a ramp leading in and off of the motorway. Ah, uh, there we go. Actually, I think that's the way to connect it. So the cars shouldn't have to slow down a lot to turn a corner. So they should go onto this nicely and come off of it as well. Although they are turning corners because, of course, it can bring them over to this one as well. I was only thinking about the one on this side. In that case, I think... I think we're going to put it there, which does create a crossroad. The alternative would be to move it around here for a T-junction. But let's see how that performs for now. By the way, I've noticed something else. No cars ever come out of these houses at the back. And I think the amount of supply and demand is just sent from the nearest houses. So if these ones here are not being used, we can first of all disconnect that. And then second, we could use a motorway again. Ah, and there's that ramp that I'm looking for. Cool. We may want to redirect some of these other roads. For example, if the one up here increased its demand, we would want to use the houses down here to go up to it. And I'm kind of just throwing motorways at problems now, but I've had a look at this for a while and I just feel like that's the way to go. And then the green network's been struggling a bit, so we'll add uh, an extra house over there. There we go. Hopefully that'll help with these two down the bottom. Oh, something changed. Okay, this motorway number two. We're glad it's there now because we're going to disconnect this and we're going to send those houses up to here. In fact, we're going to connect to this road network. Apparently that's been there a while. Jeez, it, it starts to get tricky to cover all your bases, you know. And look at that. We're supplying the demand. Okay, that's good. Okay, minor adjustments are being made here, there and everywhere. And this one really concerns me as it's got a lot of houses that are able to bring cars to it, but it is struggling. Okay, so we are rebuilding this motorway and bringing them in direct. So I'm using one of my backup motorways, which means when I right-click here to get rid of that, it actually stays in the game for a while, which is important because we're using this extra one now, so all the new cars go over there. Excellent. There we are. So I've studied the map again for a while, and I'm just wondering if maybe taking the red ones up the top here around the back in this way works. Also, this house has just popped up, and that could join that network. So it might be better to bring them in from the other side. And look, we're, we're totally on top of those two anyway, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And before we do that, actually, let's drag a motorway from the entrance of there to that point there. Excellent, excellent. I think we can remove a couple of motorways over on the other side. Okay, how about that? A <laughs> uh, little bit mad, but now red's being supplied by just these ones. We got... We got things popping up all over the place many things to be managed okay so hopefully this action here smooths out the way the cars move to these destinations and with the demand for blue increasing there we're gonna just shimmy an extra house on down the bottom i thought i was gonna be great at this and no <laughs> i did not get quite as high as a high score as i would have liked well hopefully those tips will help you on your own high score endeavors that is a big improvement since last time I played this level, though. And that's it, my friends. That was our final layout. I gotta say, I feel a little hard done by. These roads were really quite well managed. Maybe I just made one or two mistakes somewhere I haven't really noticed. But all in all, that was a good run.